How can you defeat jinn and shaitan? Many say, recite Ayatul Kursi, verse 255 of Surah Baqarah, and it will guard and protect you from jinn and shaitan. And according to one hadith, one night, when a companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Abu Hurairah, subdued a jinn, the jinn told Abu Hurairah, if he recites Ayatul Kursi, when he goes to bed, Allah will appoint a guard for him, and no shaitan will come near him till morning. Later, when Abu Hurairah informed Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad agreed that the jinn had spoken the truth, although he was an absolute liar. But there is a catch here. Will Ayatul Kursi benefit anyone and everyone who recites it? No. You might be reciting Ayatul Kursi a hundred times from the fear of jinn every night, but it will not benefit you and shaitan will come and achieve what he wants to achieve from you. And what does shaitan want to achieve from you? Shaitan wants you to deviate from the path of Allah and fear him and his allies. Allah, the one true God, tells us in the Quran, it is only shaitan that suggests to you the fear of his awliya, supporters, friends, allies, so fear them not, but fear me if you are true believers. So why fear the jinn? A true believer will never fear shaitan or his allies. A true believer only fears displeasing Allah, the God of all that exists. So how then can reciting Ayatul Kursi benefit us or protect us from jinn or shaitan? What is the specialty of this verse of the Quran? Let's look at chapter 2 verse 255. In this verse, Allah, the one true God, is telling us there is no God except Him. He is ever-living and ever-existing. Sleep does not overtake Him. He is free from all weaknesses, and everything in the heavens and earth belong to Him. No one can intercede or intervene with Him except by His permission. He is all-knowledgeable of all that is in His creation, of what is before them and what is behind them and no one can ever encompass anything of his knowledge except of what he allows them to know. His throne and dominion is over the heavens and earth, and he feels no fatigue in guarding it. Allah, he is the Most High, the Supreme. Let's take a simple analogy. Suppose there is a mouse in a room. Some might jump back in fear of that mouse. But what if there was a lion in that same room? Would that person still fear that mouse? No, it would be insignificant. Similarly, if shaitan or any of his allies are trying to harm us, reciting Ayatul Kursi will only benefit us when we recite it with understanding and firm belief that there is a greater power who is present. Allah, the ever-living, the ever-existing, whose dominion is over the heavens and the earth, only then will this verse of Quran give us that confidence against jinn and shaitan. Now, does shaitan have any power over us? Shaitan has no power over us, except one, the power of suggestion. In fact, shaitan himself will testify to that on the Day of Judgment. It was Allah who gave you a promise of truth, and I too promised you, but I betrayed you. I had no authority or power over you, except to call you, and you listened to me. So blame me not, but blame yourselves. Hence, we shouldn't fear shaitan or any jinn. And if shaitan ever gives us such idea or builds fear in our mind for anyone or anything besides Allah, what should we do? Allah, the one true God, tells us in the Quran, chapter 7, verse 200 to 202. If an evil whisper comes to you from shaitan, then seek refuge with Allah, for he is all-hearing, all-knowing. Those who fear God, the muttaqun, when a thought of evil from shaitan comes to them, they bring Allah to remembrance, when lo, they see a right. But their brethren, the evil ones, plunge them, the ones who make shaitan their brother, deeper into error, and they never relax their efforts. As for the hadith, we have to understand, it was about the companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who understood Arabic and had strong faith in Allah, 
and reciting Ayatul Kursi guided them to proper understanding of Allah. Ayatul Kursi is one of the many beautiful verses with which we can remind ourselves of the power and glory of Allah, the one true God. It is a verse that educates mankind about his creator, who is ever-living, ever-existing, who is the one without any weakness, the one with supreme sovereignty over the heavens and the earth. Nothing happens out of his knowledge. As Muslims, it is not enough to memorize and recite Ayatul Kursi without understanding. We have to understand and recite it with firm belief. Like, share, and subscribe to Truth Shall Prevail.